We have an awesome video for you tonight, so give us thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we have two awesome boxes. One is used and in store only, the other one is new, and some of them are in, or all of them are in store, and some of them are online. So if you want to watch this video, leave me some comments. Do you agree with this statement? Yeah. And they're awesome. And they're awesome. <laughs> No, we got a few of tonight's price bottle record. Oh. And they're awesome. They're so awesome. Do you know why they're so awesome? Because look what we have. <laughs> Grateful Dead. Wow. We have the Grateful Dead. Okay. Very exciting. Very mm -hmm. cool. Yep. Beast. And, yes, Beast. And it is Psych Rock. I don't know it. I know. When's that from? Hold on. Stop the presses. 70? What the? Yeah, 1970. How crazy is that? Did this just come in? Yes. Remember all those CDs? That, that that's mine. Man, are you kidding me? Well, you looked. You didn't touch. What? The? We got the Young Bloods, and then we've got the Strokes. No, it's not Stroke Me, Stroke Me. No, it's Is This It? Ooh. Mhm. Mm oh, we have the Wall, Pink Floyd. Cause she don't need no <laughs> education. Now, this is Nash Young, and I have a fun fact. Ooh. So, did you know that all four members are inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice? Twice? For the group, Crowdless Hills, Nash and Young, and each for their own projects that they did. Okay. Except Neil Young was inducted solely. Of course. So, they... Who's Neil Young? He got like 45,000 albums. Mm-hmm. I mean, bam! Yeah, that man never stops thinking, never stops working, never stops writing. That's right. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. Crosby, Sills, and Nash. And then we got Super Trip, Breakfast oh. in America. More Super Tramp? Europe? It's the final countdown! No, it's not the final countdown. It's Europe's other great album. I know. I'm just one saying. Of, one yeah, of. Okay, you can say one of. Journey! Journey. Oh, yes. The Cars? Mamas and the Papas? Yes, 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 yes! yes, yes. Owner of yes. a Lonely Heart! Do, 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 do. John Lennon? Oh, there he is. Stray Cats? Queen? ELO? Elton John, Madness. Elton John, Genesis, The Go-Go's, Vacation All Ever Wanted. We got the beat, we got the... No, no, no. Vacation. <sighs> vacation. I was close. Man. George Thurgood and the Destroyers. Well, you know something? What? Bad to the bone. Bad. We got more George Thurgood. Mark Jordan. Foreigner. Oh, did you know they're coming to... Play at um, Wind Creek soon. Really? Him. Yes, I think it's in November. Foreigner. Yes, Foreigner. Cool. Yes. Awesome. You, you know when? Uh, it's. A, I think it's November fourteenth. Yeah, I, you know I why, think. right? You know why it's November? Cause they're cold as ice. It's either Sorry. that or they're October. I might get being angry mm. with another show. Okay, so we got another Foreigner. <laughs> CV Nix, The Wild Heart. Bee Gees. Guess what? They were live. They were live. Okay. Paul Davis. Jay and the Americans. This one is a club reissue from 1980, and then this one is an original from 1965. Nice. You know whose favorite music that is? It is Nana's. Awesome. That's right. Come a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Young Rascals. Runner. Runner, runner? Runner. Craig Mira John Nunn. <laughs> la, 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 la. Sniffing the Tears. FM. Love and Spoonful. Now, the Love and Spoonful formed in 1965 in New York City, but they weren't originally called the Love and Spoonful. Guess what they were called? What were they called? The Mugwumps. Do you know who the Mugwumps were? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, it was John B. Sebastian and Mama Cass and Danny Doherty before they joined the Moms and the Papas. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2000 and into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2006. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting stuff. Lone Justice. Hall Notes. Aria Speedwagon. Brian Adams. Cat Stevens. Dion. Whoa. What's on here? Featuring the Belmonts. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Run Around Sue. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, very, very cool. When You Wish Upon a Star. Nice. Mm -hmm. Dion, man. Tell them. Tell them they're sleeping on Dion. Yeah, they really are. We were driving around South Carolina, and I think I put on Johnny Cash because I'm going to listen to a song. And then it ended up coming on after. I think it was The Wanderer. And you're like, oh, I clicked Dion. What else has he got? He has all the hits. <laughs> see, see, it was funny because she totally didn't say that story right. Mm -hmm. I was falling asleep. She was already asleep on the ride. Yeah. 
<laughs> and she was listening to like Spotify, right? Oh, yeah. And I, I don't do Spotify. I don't know how to work I that thing. I pay like twelve dollars a month, so. So worth. anyway, her music's coming on, and it's not a full album. It's just song no, after just song. Songs. It's one song and then like another yeah, song in that like genre. Yeah, yeah. I can't do that. It, I, I felt like, you know, mm -hmm. I was going all over the place. So I was getting really tired. I was in North Carolina. Oh, yeah, driving And I can't part. stand driving through North Carolina on the way to South Carolina. But anyway, all of a sudden, Dion came on and I was wide awake. I was wired. So Dion, he's Let got me. my respect. Look, the Wanderer's right there. But you can't forget about Wonder Why. Okay. I want, 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 wonder. Yeah. Why, 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 why? I'm why, telling why? you. She ran away, and I wonder if she will stay. I'm telling you, you, you can't knock Dion. I mean, I, I, dude's a genius. Pat Benatar, Fabulous Thunderbirds, Bill Chinook, Chicago, more Chicago, Firefall, Logs and Messina, Logs and Messina. Placido Domingo, Vangelis, more Vangelis, because Vangelis likes to do soundtracks. Okay, cool. The Maho Vishnu Orchestra. That's my favorite orchestra. I know it is. Ooh. Les Baxter, Tamboo. 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 Is that kind of like taboo? <laughs> what? Tamboo. Frank Sinatra, Judy Garland. And she was live, she was live at Carnegie Hall. Really? Mm hmm. Barquets, Sly and the Family Stone. Stylistics, village people, macho, macho man. man. I, I want, want to be a macho, macho man. man. Yeah. Uh, oh, the Chillites, the Dirt Band, the more dirt band. band. Houston. <laughs> I love you, dude. <laughs> Harry Chapin, more Harry Chapin. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> Pam Mark Hall. Folk. Dick Clark's Radio Uncensored presents bloopers. 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 What the heck they got going on here? Okay. Look, he's not wearing no shoes. He's using toes on his record. I do that all the time. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's only way to play your records is with your toes. I guess so. Environmental sounds. It's a field recording. Ooh, I like field recordings. I know. And then we have this 12 inch single of Sapphire. Sapphire. Mm hmm. Very, very cool. All right. Not bad. Mm hmm. I'm just saying. Pretty good stuff. So, how was Big Release Friday? It was great. A lot of people were talking about Harry Styles. And we, Arca. We sold a lot of Arca online. Tons of Arca. And we sold a couple of Harry Styles online, and mm -hmm. we sold some in-store. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we sold much Arca in-store, right? No, I don't think so. I think it's this weekend. It was such a weird day. It was so rainy. You know, something about a tornado warning. Yeah, and, and there, there's a tornado warning. warning. There's supposed to be a, a giant hail, like, this big. It never happened, though. Just Ken and I are disappointed. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying I'm disappointed too. We're, we're ready. He was just happy he doesn't have a soft top no more. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Santa got a new Jeep. <gasps> Santa got a brand new bag. <laughs> oh, we got Avril Lavigne. We got Avril Lavigne. Oh, wait a minute. What's, what's with these things? Okay. These are the brand new Sylvano records. They're obviously available in store, but most of them are also available online on spearingroundstore.com where the more you buy, the more you save. <laughs> in shipping. Oh. Just had to make sure she knew the line. Mm -hmm. So Avril Lavigne Under My Skin, Avril Lavigne Self-Titled, wow. mm -hmm. Heim, Madonna, Crystal Clear, Crystal Clear, Crystal Clear, Taylor Take Swift, Rosalia, Moto Mommy. Nice, there's a giant poster in there Huge where she's poster, like half naked. Great you booklet, love it. candy <laughs> apple red translucent vinyl, it is gorgeous. Cool, mm -hmm. and we did listen to it. Yes. We tried our best. Yes. Beats are pretty good. Well, we can't understand much yeah, yet. Um, I'm working on it. Okay. I'm working on it. Suki Waterhouse. Now, I heard a rumor about Suki Waterhouse. Yes. I heard it's very similar to Lana. Mm. That's, that's the rumor. Okay. I mean, it's a rumor. I, I can't confirm this. Shauna can. She has the record. Okay. But I heard it's very close to Lana Del Rey. Hmm. Just saying. Girl in Red. And it's on the black and red vinyl. Well, do you know why it's on the black and red vinyl? Because it's exclusive. Yes. Of course it is. It's indie exclusive, of Girl course, in Red. How was the concert? Very good. You're not a, you're not a big fan of Girl in Red, no, but how I, was the concert? It was good. I really liked her style of music, but her live was very good. Uh, the energy was so amazing with the crowd and with her. It was just awesome, and Brick had a blast. All right, all right. So she knew how to work the crowd. Yes, cool. very much. Arca, this is Kick One. Kick One. 
Ariana Grande. Get it while it's hot, people. That's all I could tell you. Get it while it's hot. The Wallows remote. Who cares? <laughs> Rex Orange County. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> sticker. <in. laughs> we got more Rex Orange County. Grand Prairie Weekend. Good, Good Charlotte. Charlotte. What? My Chemical Romance. Orville Peck. Girl School. Yes, yeah, hard rock. Girl School. Jack Harlow. What? The mm -hmm. number one rapper in the world right now. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Post Malone. Tyler the Career. Kanye, Kanye West. West. Rick Ross. Drake. Migos. Wage War. What do you know about Wage War? They're awesome live. Um, I ended up seeing them with Dragged Under and Beartooth back in September, and they were amazing. I think that they had the best stage presence of the three bands that I've played. I think that they were the best. And it seemed like a lot of people were there specifically for Wage War. Okay, you know, I'm very unfamiliar. I like their hearts, and they have some softer stuff I'm not really a big fan of, but when they go hard, they're very good. Who did you go, who'd you go to see? Dragged Under and Beartooth. Okay, oh, it's the Beartooth show, okay. Suicide Silence? What, it's limited to 700. Wow. Damn, 700. Awesome band. Just saying. Ozzy Osbourne, Black Rain. This was released yesterday. Today? Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's the time the video's put up. Yeah, Guns uh, N' Roses. I'm tired. Danzig. Danzig. What's it say? The first Danzig album of all new material in seven years, pressed on black vinyl. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Godflesh. Metallica. Soundgarden. Green Day. The Strokes. Pearl Jam. Red Hot Chili Peppers, <laughs> Flea Foxes, Chris Robinson Brotherhood. Now, who's Chris Robinson Brotherhood? Chris Robinson was in the Black Crows. I'm just checking. Mm -hmm. I want to see how much she knew, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what's crazy? What? This one seriously feels like a 2LP. It is $16.98. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, that is a pretty damn good deal. Yeah. I was impressed. Checked oh, the price yeah. like six times. <laughs> Velvet Underground, a documentary film. Well, wow. nice. PJ Harvey, and then we've got Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Oh, who, oh she looks just like Buddy. Oh. We sold so much Buddy Holly that we had to pull our Buddy Holly section because we had no more left. Just wow. saying, I mean, these Crazy. things happen, you know, I mean, boom. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. All right, all right. You know what I think I need now? What? No. A pole. A pole? Pick something, anything. That's right, man. We got Arca. I believe this is Arca 2, kick 3. Kick four, kick five, kick 15, kick 26, hike. Oh, Harry's house. Very cool, brand new Harry Styles. Oh, we still got those things. Because when we had the police in here. I don't know what happened to them, though. Oh, we got combat rocks right here. This is interesting. Somebody pointed something out to me. I believe it was Santa today. Now, it's a three LP. Keep this in mind, guys. But explain this to me. Side A. Side B, side C, what the heck is going on there? And then, you know, this was the back cover of the original one. I do believe it is a 3 LP. Yeah. So it's got me, yep, triple LP. So wow. explain this. Is side A record A and side B is record Probably B not. and side C is record C? Freaking weird, aliens. Or is it just, you know, bonus extra stuff? We got the gold, the full beat. It's glow in the dark. That special. That album's very good. You like the album? It's very good. All right. She highly recommends the album. Nice. He really shows There's off the his police. Voice now, from what I heard, my favorite song by the police is not on here, and that is Roxanne. Message in a bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, just don't stand so close to me here. No. Oh, Roxanne's on here. What are you talking about? Oh, it's live. All right, what you got, Turkey? You lying to me so I don't take it? I understand. I got tears for fear is the tipping point because I love this album so much. All right. Especially Side A. All right. The Monkees, Headquarters. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, you know something, though? I mean, I appreciate Tears for Fears. They did share our post on their Instagram story, which was a hell of a thing. But how are you going to go up against the classic? <laughs> the Monkees. Hey, we're the Monkees. You know, we only beat all around. Oh. All right, let me know who you picked down below. And, uh... 
<laughs> so now you gotta leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite record in one of those boxes was because we had some really awesome stuff. You gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up because I've liked a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good, and then you have to subscribe, Brand. subscribe, Brand. subscribe, Brand. subscribe, Brand. subscribe. Ring that bell, ding, ding, ding. We do a video a lot. We'll see you soon. Now listen. Yes. I'm gonna talk about the prices going up a little bit. Yes, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I'm, I'm not gonna go negative here. But I am going to say the prices are going up on a bunch of stuff from Universal. Mm -hmm. It's 2,400 items. But their catalog is so vast. Yes, it does. The Beatles are going up. They're not going up $10, $12, $15. $15. But the thing is that all of the titles from Warner and Sony already went up. Yeah. So Universal is the last ones to put up their prices. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, the come thing. come on. You know, you don't realize because nobody said nothing to you. And if you really look at that list, if you guys had access to that list, there are some prices that are going down a dollar or two as well. That's exactly it. I mean. But a lots of stuff that was ending in 98 cents that they wanted us to have the price as is now ending in 99 cents, which normally 99 cents means that it's an import. Normally. It's normally. Yeah. So we don't know if that's why they're going up because now they're going to be considered imports even though they have the same UPC. Because they are coming from other countries. Mm -hmm. I would I would say a huge chunk mm -hmm. of the record industry does not come from the US. Yeah. You see made in Czechoslovakia Poland and Poland and Canada all the time. All the time. You ain't seen that Russian country. sticker on nothing twenty twenty two. Nope. Just Not say, a <laughs> Not a thing. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. I was terrible, but it's the truth. But no. Um, you know, get them while they're hot. Because the prices are going to go up eventually as soon as we get them back into stock. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got boxes and boxes back there, but it's inevitable. Yes, yeah. But I don't think they realized back in uh, September, October, and November, mm -hmm. before Christmas, mm -hmm. there was a price increase. Yes, there was by all the other guys. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's three major labels. There's Warner, Universal, and Sony. Well, Universal's pretty much the last one. I think everybody noticed when Deftones covers went from, you know, 29 to like 46. Which is a weird number. <laughs> it was just the weirdest thing. And we had a bunch of imports that went from 33 up to like 42. Yeah, but I, I just think that now that it was pointed out to certain people, because there was a lot of people panicking yesterday. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to panic. This oh. is not this big, huge, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to afford anything increase. Most of the prices are only going up 2 to $4. But there are some things that are also coming down a dollar or two. Yeah. So, you know, it works both ways. Don't get me wrong, there are some things that are going up drastically. Mm -hmm. But not the Beatles, not, no. not Rubber Soul, not Revolver, not... Any of those? No. Like, like was like the somebody used an example yesterday. I didn't take that YouTube video down yesterday. No. The live. No. YouTube took it down. Mm -hmm. They had like this whole problem. I don't, I don't know what it was, but almost everybody who's who went live yesterday, they ended up uh, privating the video and not giving you access to relist it, and you couldn't appeal. Hmm. Strange. So I don't know what the heck happened. But something internal, I am sure, Somebody or security breach, something, mm -hmm. yeah. But all right, you know what else? No. Aliens.